find out the most important secret all the gurus will never tell you. These gurus, what do they know? The following video changed the way I'm marketing online. Hello, internet people. Just a quick sequence to my previous eToro review video that I made eight months ago. I'm going to show you the growth of profits and what has happened in the last eight months. Arnie, what should we do? Now this is the plan. Get your ass to Mars. Take sweat punch. All right, here's a screenshot of my results. You can see that on top here, we have the situation from December 2017. And at the bottom here, it's July 2018. As you can see, I still follow the same traders and I'm doing a bit better than eight months ago. I went from $150 in profit to $220. So that means in a year I've gained about 23%. When you compare that with S&P 500, it rose by 15% during the same period. So it's not too bad. And this is what I'm going to do with my money. Now it was higher at some point as Jay, so this guy was really riding the crypto wave, but now as it crashed a little bit, he's uh, kind of just doing okay. So far I haven't had any issues with eToro, it all seems to be legit. I got some comments on my last video that they got scammed, and I think these guys feel like this about eToro. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you. They had a lamentation of the women. But I can't verify one way or the other. For me, the experience so far has been good. The only thing with eToro is the high costs or the fees. If you're curious to see some examples, check out the video that appears on your screen now. I go through all the different types of fees and I'll show you an example how it impacts your profits. And if you have any bad experience with eToro, please let me know. I'm curious to hear what has happened and maybe there was some misunderstanding or yeah, maybe there's something that I don't know. So let me shortly explain why I follow these three guys. Can't make it quick because my horse is getting tired. So I have three people that I follow. Basically, Dale is, uh, I chose him because he was, um, he had a low risk portfolio, but luckily he picked the right stock. So he's doing pretty well. His risk level is from three to four. Then uh, second guy is Jay. A lot of people follow him. He's a crypto guy. He's doing pretty okay right now. As I said, he goes with in ways just following the crypto market in general. His risk rating is a bit higher. I think it's six, five or six. Uh, so it's much higher than Dale's, um, but I like to balance my portfolio that way. And then there's Alexander who's investing mostly in international stocks, um, also some US stocks. He's doing really well. He's been the strongest one from pretty much from the start. So if I add more money to eToro, I'll for sure invest with him and I'll give him a Russian hug. I think it goes something like this. Shout, shout and punch. So here you can see that basically Dale was doing $14, but now he's doing $62, which is a huge improvement. Alexander was at 69 and he's now at 89. Again, nice improvement. And Jay is pretty much at the same level as he was eight months ago. So, so far so good. I'm pretty happy with the profits. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that you might find interesting. First one is the original eToro review from 2017 and the second will explain all the different types of eToro fees. Whoosh! Cool, right? Click the link in the description for my price discounted special.